The aim of this lecture is to give an overview of emerging trends for mobility worldwide, then peculiarities of African transportation system and its perspective will be discussed. At the end of this lecture, you will be able to list the main concepts of smart mobility and to discuss the present situation of African transportation system. The word mobility is on the verge of tremendous changes which are mainly driven by growing urbanization leading to congestion of cities and to pollution, increasing safety requirements and the need for connection. To face these challenges, a new and revolutionary way of thinking about how we get around is emerging, smart mobility. Key points of smart mobility are, first, user at center, mobility services put travelers in control. Second, flexibility, Multiple modes of transportation allow travelers to choose the best one for a given situation. Third, efficiency. The trip gets travelers to their destination with minimal disruption and in as little time as possible. Fourth, integration. The full route is planned door to door, regardless of which modes of transportation are used. Fifth, sustainability. Transportation moves away from pollution-causing vehicles to zero-emission ones. Sixth, safety, fatalities and injuries must be drastically reduced. Seventh, sharing. Car sharing allows to take more cars off the road and cut down expenses related to owning a private vehicle. Clearly, Electrification of vehicles and the introduction of autonomous and connected vehicles may help this process. Although still at the beginning, the shift towards smart mobility has started. But what about Africa? Africa is expected to enjoy the fastest urbanization in the world. By 2025, there will be 100 African cities with more than 1 million inhabitants. That's twice as many as in Latin America. The growth of urban inhabitants and poor urban planning led to sprawling cities with low density, causing a long commutation time for most of the people and the city's congestion. The situation is worsened by a generally dysfunctional and expensive public transportation system. Private motorization is still low and therefore informal transport, paratransit, still represents the main alternative, although it is fragmented, private-owned and unreliable. Pollution and safety issues come as a consequence. The World Health Organization estimates that more than 90% of air pollution-related deaths occur in low- and middle-income countries, mainly in Asia and Africa. Despite the lowest motorization in the world, Africa is currently experiencing the highest per capita rate of road fatalities. The main causes of accidents are the human factor, a poor maintenance of vehicles and road, poor road conditions, gutters and side roads, and the shared road for pedestrians, cyclists and motorized vehicles. What's the state of infrastructures that connect African regions and that are essential for the economic growth? Main investments led to the construction of inter-regional corridors, since most freight in Africa gets transported via road. One example is the unfinished Trans-African Highway. A quick look at the map suggests that the network provides good access all across the country. But appearances can be deceiving. Road quality is very patchy on these highways. Majority of roads are still unpaved and in poor conditions. Moreover, where roads are currently adequate, maintenance is looming as a potential problem. What about the rail? The regional integration with the new rail lines and the extension of existing tracks have started in southern and in eastern Africa. However, rail integration in the west is nearly non-existent.
Moreover, the different track gauge dimensions prevent interoperability between countries. Bright spots are, however, present throughout Africa. Bus rapid transport has been developed in recent years by some cities, including Accra, Lagos, Kampala, Dar es Salaam, Johannesburg and Cape Town. Africa's first light rail system was launched in 2015 in Addis Abeba, carrying an average of 113,000 passengers each day. In South Africa, the GNC, a state-of-the-art control center for centralized rail traffic management, monitors up to 600 trains per day from 2015. The Addis Abeba Djibouti Railway was opened in 2018, facilitating freight transportation from Dorele port to landlocked Ethiopia. In 2017, the Madaraka Express Line connecting Mombasa to Nairobi in Kenya was inaugurated for passengers transportation and then extended to commercial freight services. In Kinshasa, Congo, from 2013, solar-powered robot traffic officers are successfully used to control traffic flow across a crossroads. Summarizing, taken as a whole, Africa's infrastructure is lagging behind that of the rest of the world, but among the regions there are significant differences. What are the future perspectives for Africa? African economy is still growing faster than world average, although it has experienced a growth slowdown over the past five years. However, a closer look tells a different story. North African countries involved in the Abraham Spring movement and oil exporters dragged down Africa's gross domestic product growth and rate. Vice versa, in the rest of the continent, GDP growth accelerated in the same period. Therefore, despite differences, Africa's overall outlook remains promising and its economy is forecasted to accelerate over the next five years to become the world's second fastest growing region. Thus, if funds will be properly invested, there's a real possibility of upgrading and extending existing transport and logistics infrastructure in order to unleash Africa's full economic potential. Concluding in this lecture, we introduced the key trends of smart mobility worldwide, which involve electrification, automation and digitalization of existing transport infrastructure and give any travelers access to safe, reliable and efficient modes of transport. Then we focused on the peculiarities of African transportation system. Despite the continent's infrastructure lagging behind the global standards for decades, Africa has already begun setting the wheels in motion to create interconnected, more modern and efficient transport networks that keep economies on the move rather than hindering them.